I think the interesting thing about platform is it's maybe not the platforms of the past, because platforms of the past often in many organizations were great big, great massive great things, very difficult to use, black, box. black boxes, and um, you, teams were man had to use them. It was mandatory to use these things, and, and it was awful to use in many cases. Not everywhere, but, but often it, these platforms are just awful. The platforms we're talking about uh, have placed a strong focus on developer experience. So they, they see other development teams as their customers effectively. So they run the platform as a product or a service, really thinking about um, how, how development teams, are, uh, what's their experience in using them. In fact, some organizations go so far as to use um, NPS, Net Promoter Score, to, to, to rank how well the platform is, is behaving in terms of developer experience, which I think is, is, is great. We're, we're not aiming to build a massive platform. We're aiming to build what we in the book call the thinnest viable platform, TVP. So this TVP could be just a wiki page. That, if, if that's all you need for your platform, it says, so we say we use uh, this cloud provider and we only use these services from the cloud provider and here's the way in which we use them. That might just be a wiki page, that might be your platform. That's all you need. If that's all you need, don't build anything else. But you, you're still running on a platform but you don't make it any thicker than necessary, so that's why it's kind of thinnest viable platform. Obviously, if, as your enterprise gets bigger and bigger, or you've got more complicated challenges, you'll need to build some stuff out. But the focus is always on kind of uh, streamlining teams as the customer, what's the developer experience, making sure that we're kind of using software, uh, agile software delivery practices within the platform to build it itself.